All aboard, it's Jang here with a throwback to an old set from originally 1982, but this is a 1984 American market release version here. In the US, it was called the Space Transporter with the Mattel packaging, but originally it was just the Lunar Dumper. <laughs> the idea is that it's basically a small dump truck to use for moon exploration. Well, unfortunately, the used one that I got does not have all the stickers. It's got the important one for the astronaut's helmet, but there should be some uh, stickers on the sides to kind of represent a computer panel there and also some number stickers. But you can see that on the box. I was pretty fortunate to be able to get the original box for this, even though it is a little bit beaten up from age, but it's, I think it's always nice to see old packaging, especially to be able to see stuff like this the scenes that they set up to demonstrate kind of the, the dioramas that they would make to show you a bunch of sets all together. And this is not showing uh, an, an important uh, secondary set or just another kind of companion set that would work really well with the Lunar Dumper. I guess perhaps it didn't come to the US, but they had a front end loader, something very similar to this size that would allow you to load up, you know, sand in a sandbox or dirt and put it into the back and then transport it around. I like the overall design of this. Gosh, it, it's very, very 80s, very, very nostalgic for me, <laughs> but uh, I like it and it, it makes sense, I think, for the sake of play. What surprises me most about this is that the wheels are actually rubber tires. The whole thing, each one is rubber. It's a little bit soft, so when it rolls, it doesn't have that annoying clacking, clanking sound of hard plastic wheels. It's more expensive. It's also a little bit heavier. It just feels more substantial like that, even though all the rest of the thing is made of plastic. So this is the, the dump bed. It's fairly shallow here, so it actually couldn't hold too much material, but it keeps it kind of low and I think works well with the overall proportions. But yeah, that just dumps like that. And it kind of has suspension. It's got articulation at the center. So you could drive over terrain and just watch that happen. It's actually important that you have this extra weight of these, these uh, rubber tires to help you with that right there. Because with, if these were super light on some toys, you go to do like this and the whole thing just comes up because there's just too much friction in the joint here, not enough weight to hold it down. It just makes it feel better. Bits of old dirt on there. This had just the single spot for a standing astronaut to control it from the front. You could hold on with both hands to the kind of control sticks there in front of them. And it came with some accessories, the full set of the space accessories. I think these were all of the the exploration style tools. This is like a drill and you could change the angle of it. Uh, a grabber arm is useful, of course, you know, each of these can be used in independently. And then this thing, I don't know what this is, some sort of probe and hammer or something. Actually, I think this is supposed to be turned around. Yeah, this is actually backwards. It's more like a hammer, let me fix that. There we go, there we go. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, so you'd imagine doing like this, like it would be in the hand of a figure, like so, and then you as, a, as an operator of the toy would do like this and kind of stamp things for some reason. I don't know, maybe do some seismic testing, maybe do a little bit of uh, maintenance work on something, build a little space hut or something. You know, you really had to use your imagination. They just gave you tools and uh, you figure out what to do with them. You could even consider this to be like a gun. I know that when I was a kid, uh, I saw these. I didn't, again, I didn't have these as a kid, but spent a lot of time staring at the catalogs and imagining that I had them. But I imagine that this was like a, a blaster of some sort. Kind of looks like it, right? As long as you don't think of it as a drill. The figure is the white colored astronaut and just reconfirming, making sure that this does have the correct, yeah, this, these are the black, actually look almost a uh, gunmetal gray. Yeah, it is a gunmetal gray, like a dark gunmetal gray color for the accents on this guy. Some of them 
uh, in some series came with uh, chromed up accents. This actually makes a lot more sense, not as, as regal looking, but chrome would chip off. This does not because it's just one color of plastic. So that's for these weights here or kind of armor pieces. And then also the insert right there on the front of the suit and also the radio walkie talkie communicator unit, which could be turned a little bit closer to make it look like it's actually being used. And then also the backpack unit, which has all of your life support that's built into it. All this helmet would come off together as the insert that has just the clear piece in there. So you had some real glass in front and just the standard face and standard hair. I mean, this is pretty old. It's not original, original oldest. You know, you've got the rotating wrists there, no clicky joints in this, but it's in really great shape. This actually may be a slightly later version put together with multiple you know, parts of different ages, but it looks correct and authentic. These boots were also removable. Of course, I consider them to be gravity boots. Got to be a little bit careful, especially with some of these older, older plastic parts. Some of them can be a little bit fragile. Let me carefully pop that up for you. And that's the boot. Just has the little spot for the toes to go through and it just kind of clips onto the back of the the heel there but it's just a normal figure underneath and it added a lot of extra height to put these things that I considered to be gravity boots back in those days whatever that meant I think they would for for use on the moon they would just have a bunch of weight in them you know just to, to help you to stay on the ground just like the weight in those tires would help the rover the lunar dumper the space transporter <laughs> to stay on the surface it's nice to look at some old sets every once in a while, but now I'm going to get back to some newer stuff. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I'll talk to you again as soon as I can.